Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> I hope you're having a fabulous day. Happy Valentine's Day. And what's perfect for a true crime channel on Valentine's Day? A true crime story. So, in today's case, the picture perfect marriage. Or was it? Disclaimer notice. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. It, everything that I say in here is alleged. Just my opinion, my interpretation of the cards. After all, it is a tarot reading. Nothing is based on fact. So, it is my belief of what the cards are telling me. After all, I'm just a blonde throwing cards. Today's case um, is about Dr. John Hamilton and his wife, Susan. They happened to meet at a friend's party and they hit it off great, started dating. Two years later, they get married. He surprises her on their wedding day with a Porsche. Dr. Hamilton was an OBGYN and... He made a lot of money, and he loved to spoil Susan. Spoiled her with gifts and trips, vacations, cars. They had a beautiful home. And then in, on Valentine's Day of 2001, Dr. Hamilton um, comes home and finds his wife on the bathroom floor in a pool of B-L-O-O-D. Um, yes, you have two policies. I got to spell it out. Anyhow, <clears throat> so he tries to do CPR. He calls 911. He supposedly goes back out to his car realizing, oh, EMS can't get into the driveway. I need to move my car. He moves his vehicle, etc. Well, The neighbor that Susan confided in a lot, her name was Susan also, claims that Mrs. Hamilton had confided in her and thought that her husband may have been having an affair. There was a lot of phone calls that came into his phone and he would just look at his phone and ignore the calls whenever Susan was around. Dr. Hamilton's excuse was it was a patient who was having problems and he was just trying to help her. Then um, after investigating it, she finds out that it was a stripper and he says, well, you know, she had some problems. Um, let me interject here for a second. The Hamiltons did have some enemies because he worked, he was an OBGYN, but also worked at one of those clinics that terminated unborn. Okay, you get what I'm saying. Um, and, and there were some pro-lifers, some organizations that sent a lot of threats to the family and nastiness, even tried to set fire to one of the clinics that he performed those at. But anyhow, um, that brings me to this story. I'm not 100% positive, but I believe I read that this stripper supposedly had one done and was feeling guilty and was thinking about deleting herself off the planet and he was trying to help her through it well that leads us to um that 
she, that Susan Hamilton confided in the neighbor Susan, I think it was like contemplating divorce or something like that. Um, Dr. Hamilton had a lot to lose, a, a fortune to lose. So you can see the precarious situation that he was in. Well, let's move back forward to the day of her unaliving on Valentine's Day, 2001. Uh, after like 12 years, 13 years of marriage, something like that. I can't remember the exact number, but it was up there. They were together for a long time. Everybody thought they were the picture perfect couple. Okay. Um, but obviously there were some things there that wasn't so picture perfect. So investigators, John's story, John, Dr. John Ham Hamilton, his story was that he was in between surgeries. You know, he had no, t he, he stopped time to grab a couple things. She was getting re ready or something like that. She had appointments also that she had to deal with in the morning. Um, and his timeline from his first surgery, stopping home, his second surgery, there was no time for him to do anything. I mean, it, it could have happened, but the timing would have been really tight. So, moving on, you know, investigators looked at a lot of angles like could this have been a hate crime? They were already received a lot of threats. Um, but it kept going back to eventually Dr. Hamilton became the prime suspect. I know I'm skipping a few things. You could do your research and look up this case yourself. There's a lot of information out there. But uh, regardless, he tried, um, there was hair, B-L-O-O-D, and stuff on the steering wheel of his car and on the inside door, side of the, um, the door. And that's when he came up with the story that he had to move his vehicle. But there was, but there was inconsistencies when they investigated that with the footprints. Um, it was like one-way footprints of B-L-O-O-D. That you would have thought that there would have been prints outside, but there wasn't. Uh, you mean, as in prints going in and out of the house, there wasn't. There was just exit prints, like when he went and get, got into his car to leave the scene. Okay. Um, so, And then investigators found out that his second surgery got delayed. It was supposed to be at like 9... 30 ish a.m. and it then got put off to 9 40 ish a.m. which gave him a whole hour in between surgeries to go home do the deed leave come back and find his wife okay so that's kind of the time what there's the time timing of all this um what did he do with the clothes i don't think they ever found the weapon either but, I mean, it, it was pretty brutal. There was some internal of the head, that kind of matter, exposed. I mean, it was that bad. And what really was the clincher of him becoming, getting um, convicted, which he was convicted and now serving life sentence without the possibility of parole at a... Ma I, either I think it's a maximum security facility. He was yes, he was convicted. And what was the clincher was his own splatter, you know, expert that when he testified for the defense seemed to be really good for Dr. Hamilton until the cross examination. The cross examination came out some information about splatter up underneath the doctor's shirt, which would have somehow would have been consistent with a bashing. You get what I'm saying? So that, I think that was the clincher. Um, now 
The problem is they really didn't have a motive. The alleged motive would have been an affair. But he got on the stand and said there was no affair. There was no affair between him and the stripper. The stripper got on the stand. She testified and said, no, we didn't have an affair. He was my doctor. So there was no sol ever any solid evidence that there was any kind of an affair between the two. So I want to throw some cards on this. I just kind of want to get a feel. Do they have the right guy behind bars or could it have been a hate group or could it have been the stripper that did this thing? Oh, if I get Susan out of the way, maybe I could become the next Mrs. Hamilton and I can have this glorious house, these glorious cars, these glorious riches, right? So we're going to go ahead and dig into this case. Okay, let's take a look here. What do we got? Try to make this a quick read. Caught in lies and deceit. Not surprised. Energy found power draining a leash. This reminds me of vampire, B L O O D. Um, kind of drained the life. Evidence searching. Watching. Intrigue, party, excitement, fun house. Kind of reminds me of where he was going. Um, kind of reminds me of a strip club. Just saying. And this feels like she was definitely watched. And there is evident, there is ev compelling evidence. And there is something here with the stripper. She knew. It almost feels like she's, she was watching and waiting for everything to play out while he, while the life was drained out of Susan. Um, and while they made up all their lies and deceit, deceitfulness. Okay. And I'm like kind of hearing in my head that the bottom line is if he would have gotten off, they would have gotten together. It would have been a trauma bond per se, their story. Okay. And it took a while, I think, for the police to put the evidence together, to piece everything together. Um, it feels like they were trying, and there was definitely still searching. I don't think they ever found, from what I have researched, have not found the actual object used on Susan. I don't even think they found his clothing. So who knows what he did with them. But he was found guilty. Serial. So. That potential was there. Which makes me wonder if wife number two, if it would have played out that he would have been acquitted and would have got with this stripper 
because she would have been number two. This is the second time I'm trying to record this, by the way. The first time, there was absolutely no sound. I'm like, oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. Um, the first one around, the first time around, I, in that, that you can't see it because you couldn't hear any anything me say it anyhow, but I mentioned, I wonder if he would have done it to the second wife too. But here we got prostitute. Okay. This came up in the first one. Abuse. Okay. <clears throat> you know, there's... This card reminds me of a lack of acceptance. So, they were being watched by certain groups because of his other thing he did besides delivering babies what he did to the ones that weren't going to be delivered so this is kind of raising an eyeball um i'll ask some specific questions intuition um bird's eye view witness um makes me wonder if the said stripper played a role. I kind of felt that she might have, and I, I think I kind of mentioned that, did the stripper do this? I don't think she did it, did it. But she had some kind of part in it. So, I'm gonna use the Lover's Path Tarot, since this is Valentine's Day. I'm going to ask some specific questions. I was going to do a count across. I did kind of do that in the lab, in the reading that I had to scrap. But I'm feeling um, just to ask some specific questions and see what I get. Okay. First of all, show me Dr. John Hamilton's involvement. That's the first thing I want to know. This came out in the last reading as an overall arching energy, as um, the hovering energy, the world card, closing a cycle. nine of arrows but this is the nine of swords so right away worried about closing off or an ending to a marriage okay as i said there was kind of speculation that susan may have wanted a divorce brute strength strength card um Queen of Cups and Queen of Staffs, Queen of Wands. We got two women here, folks. Two women. Right here. The one has her back facing the Queen of Cups. So this is the Queen of Cups who intuitively knew that there was another woman involved. Susan knew. Susan is the Queen of Cups. She was very loving, tender, and she loved John with all of her heart. This is the love of the life. This is the sexual partner. Okay. I just got to say that one of the cards that came up in the last reading was some kind of sexual obsessions, fetishes, which kind of was leaning towards the strip club, things that a stripper would do, you know. And this here are two women. So, showing some kind of restraint, trying, but I feel more like brute strength. If I was doing reversals, this probably would have come out in the reverse, signifying brute strength. 
and power. And there was a concern about the ending. How would this end if it went to divorce? Okay. Under the deck, the Empress, the mother, with the world card, ending it with the mother, the mother type energy. Now keep in mind, both of them had killed children to the previous marriages, but I just got a download. I wonder what if John's first wife was still alive or not because of the serial K-I-L-L-E-R card here. I'm just wondering. But got nine of arrows worried. Four of arrows. How am I going to put this to rest? His answer to his worries was literally a D-E-A-T-H bed. Literally. Two of Cups. Strong connection and a choice, a decision. He didn't want the divorce. What I'm picking up here, he would have liked to have had this cake and eat it too. Have his mistress and have his wife. But this here is telling me that they had a really, really strong relationship. But there is an interference of another woman. Fast action here with the Eight of Wands, with the Queen of Cups. I think she was implementing change. She knew intuitively, she knew about the communication between him and this other woman. Eight of Coins that he claimed was work-related. Okay, this he met this other woman through work. So maybe she really was a patient. Okay. That's what this is telling me. Um, look at the next card. Two of arrows. A denial of the six of cups. Uh, walking of a soul bond, walking of memories. And that's about children. Everything he did was about children. And associated with this Queen of Wands is children. So, and with the work card, it's telling me that he didn't meet her at a strip club. I think she was a patient. Okay. But he needed Susan out of the way. So, did he do it? Ten of staffs. It was very, very, bur this was a burden he was carrying. What was his worry? Friendship, socializing, worried about his social standing as well. Okay. How will this look if he had an affair when they were supposed to have the per picture perfect marriage, right? How would it affect his reputation? Okay. Did he do it? They still haven't answered that specifically. Did he do it? Two of Cups. There's the union. Nine of Cups. It seemed like the dream of everybody would want. Eight of Swords, but he felt trapped in it. He felt trapped. He wanted to leave that behind. 
and she was six of wands. How could he win? This is saying that he, there was an entrap, entrapment here that and emotionally detached. There's emotional detachment here. He wanted a victory. He wanted to move on. He wanted to be successful. Um, but got the Empress card again. So this to, on the surface, it looked like a soulmate relationship. Page of Swords. You know, there is a lot of being focused on wish fulfillment. Some critical conversations. Some spying. This is also saying that there was some kind of eye candy. Overindulgence could also be the Nine of Cups. Overindulging in something, some eye candy. Okay. That put him at a crossroads. He didn't, um, he started planning how he was going to get out of this marriage unscathed. There's a strength card again. Um, he used force to stop her from leaving and divorcing King of Wands. He was very focused on his end goal. King of Wands is also somebody who can have a temper. Um, she tried to defend herself, uh, lies and deceptive lies, and he was defending his lies as well. As far as affairs are concerned, um, emotional loss. So I'm seeing some, uh, allegedly speaking, I'm not trying to pump him up. Because to me, this is a piece of shit doctor. Okay, a piece of shit human. Okay, but he did feel some remorse when he found himself on his own. But at the same time, yeah, it was a loss of his wife, what he did. But he kept his riches. Okay, so he had motive. I think that's establishing the motive. Um, nobody could really pinpoint it because both parties, the stripper and him, both got on the witness stand and said, no, there was no affair. It was all business. And it, that was all lies. So they could not really establish a motive next to his wife wanting to divorce him. But there was more to it than that. Okay. Yes, there was, um financial reasons and he really wanted his freedom he felt stuck in that marriage and he wanted his freedom okay i want to look at the stripper don't know her name did she have any involvement was she there she have any type of involvement in the deleting of Susan Hamilton? Did she have any involvement? Ace of Swords, the truth. Victory, the truth. Temperance. King of Coins. The Fool. Six of Staffs. Funny, she got the Six of Staffs also. This is saying that she was patiently waiting for him. And in a sense, I'm feeling like that is the Fool energy. A feeling like she thought she was going to get her this man patiently waiting for the man with the money and that stripper was money motivated ace of swords is a particular truth clarity she was she saw exactly what she wanted with him i think that 
there's a part of her that did not want to believe it. Um, oh, the lovers. Her person, the stripper's personal truth is that, that her and Dr. Hamilton were meant to be together. Um, that she was waiting for the marriage to end, for a divorce, for him to leave. His wife, Ada Coins, and she's, uh, there, there's the cultivating of the money. She saw the riches, that there is all she, when she looked at him, she didn't see love. She saw money. And she says, oh, we are going to be meant to be together. Um, innocence, Six of Cups. Memories. Things of the past. Um, she believed he was innocent. Eight of staffs, communicating, moving forward. She thought that everything's going to move forward. And when Susan was deleted, she thought that, oh, thank God, there isn't, you know, it was like, oh, now I could be with him. But there's some kind of clarity about a choice. I think in the beginning she thought he was innocent, but then she found out the truth. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Did she know? Show me, did she know what John did? Ten of coins. The family tree. Community. Ten of arrows. Yes, she knew what happened. She knew the truth about the ending of this so-called stable relationship or marriage. She knew, yes, this is telling me she knew. She knew by the end what really happened. Okay. What can you tell me about the marriage itself between John and Susan? What can you tell me about behind closed doors? What was their marriage like behind closed doors? What was their marriage like behind closed doors? What was their marriage like behind closed doors? marriage itself it was over transformation death card there were changes it was over tower which led to the tower moment two of coins didn't know what to do going back and forth trying to balance then we have the star energy, healing, a certain star path, seven of staffs, defense. Okay. And this could literally mean grace or her going, the unaliving. Behind closed doors, there, you know, there was a, there, it was tumultuous. The tower is showing me explosive energy. Okay. High Priestess with the Transformation. Susan talked to her neighbor, but did not tell her neighbor everything. Just that she thought there was another woman. Did not tell her exactly what was happening. Ten of Swords. So, this is just speaking about, you know, the marriage was over. She was leaving. He was stopping her. And... The two of coins, dead center here, um, with the eight of coins, again, you know, he was working on a plan. He worked on a plan on how he could end this. Money was, I think money was a primary focus of what he stood to lose. The marriage was over and it was a sudden ending. Of course, we know why, because she passed, but... Somebody knows. 
that surfer knows there's hidden it was hidden the how their marriage changed was hidden from everybody hanged man suspension you know seeing things from a different perspective sacrifice what did he have to sacrifice prince of cups they um with the seven of staffs so he defended his communications there's the two of cups again with the nine of cups he desired another relationship this is coming up again um desiring another connection okay desiring another connection having a choice and he was definitely work trying to work out the details between the two connections i'm wondering if i'm feeling like maybe this isn't the first time he has had an indiscretion and i think a connection between the stripper and him was gone on for a while but behind closed doors, the marriage was already over. Even though it wasn't talked about, it was done. But he could not allow her to divorce him. That was the motive. No divorce. I'm holding on to my riches. I'm holding on to my stuff. I'm holding on to my money. And I want to be free. And it all started with overindulging in another connection. If it wasn't for that stripper, things probably would have been different. But I'm feeling like the stripper was where things started to change between the doctor and his wife. And he did the unthinkable. I'm not seeing her playing a part in the um, actual um, unaliving. But I am seeing that she did find out the truth and she knew the truth. And she covered for him. So in my uh, humble opinion, my honest opinion, she perjured herself on the stand. And I think to this day, there is no solid evidence that there was an affair. And he, the doctor's protecting her. I don't know why. There might be some level of emotionality there. But. Um, um, but I feel to this day, there's been no word, nothing official that there was definitely an affair. My card said there was. They both deny it. But that was the root cause, I think, of what happened to Susan. And it's sad, but it just goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover. Not every relationship is picture perfect. So that's where I'm going to leave you with this Valentine's Day murder mystery. Because I think there were some other sleuths out there that questioned if he was really the one that did it or not. Just kind of on here on YouTube, search for Dr. John Hamilton and Susan Hamilton or, do, or the murder of Susan Hamilton or something like that. You'll find it. There's a lot of videos out there, but I'm going to leave you there. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, love and light.